Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be doing a Ikea home decor haul, I guess you could call it. I don't really know. Um, and I don't even know if this stuff is new. I go to Ikea maybe once every few months. And I think, I don't think any of this stuff is new, but I do think that um, I'm just looking for different stuff every time I go in there. But I want to show you guys what I picked up. And so we're just going to jump right into it. No crazy intro or anything. So the first couple of things that I picked up and I've already opened them because I have kids are these little um, cups and plate sets. So they're called the Callas, 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 Callas. I don't know what exactly they're called. Um, I'm not Swedish. I don't know how to pronounce any of this stuff and probably none of you do either. But I just really love um, having a bunch of plates and cups on hand for my kids because they like, they don't like to, but they break my nice, they're not nice, they're from Dollar Tree, but they break my dishes frequently. So I just like to give them plastic ones, especially my two year old. And these things are so cheap, you guys. I think it's like $2.99 a piece for each, for like the plates and the bowls. Um, most of the stuff I got was kitchen, and then there's a couple of like home organization stuff, so I guess it's not home decor, whatever. So the next things I got are some new kitchen utensils. I am trying to switch all of our utensils into wood and stainless steel because um, I'm not like like a crazy organic, like chemical free mom, but I just, you know, plastics are just, you know, we just, nobody needs plastic all the time. And since I am, these are so inexpensive, I figured I would go ahead and start making the switch and do it with Ikea stuff. So I got two like wooden spoons and I believe these are called, I don't know what they're called. Weird, they don't have a weird Swedish name. But uh, two wooden spoons and this little forky prong thingy. And then I got a stainless steel whisk because we currently use a silicone one. And I really, let's be honest here, I really just want everything to match in my kitchen. So I got these. Um, they're very inexpensive. I don't even know the prices. I think they're each like $2 a piece. They're not, their utensil stuff is not that expensive. Okay. And then can opener. Um, my husband took our other can opener that my parents had since like the 80s. He took it camping and never brought it home. So I had to get one. Um, <clears throat> our electric can opener that I got from Walmart just sucks. It doesn't really work that well. And I prefer these because they work every time. And then I got two of these. They are just silicone. Uh, what are they? What is it? I'm gonna focus it's not gonna focus is it hello whatever it's called the Han Gisrin there we go I don't know how to pronounce that but these are just silicone um, oven mitts I the other ones they, they just get so dirty the cloth ones they get really dirty and gross so silicone and gray because everything in my house is white gray and like wood tones I'm basic and I'm going to stick with my basic colors. So yes, gray silicone mats and these are dishwasher safe so they don't get all gunky and gross. And then I have been wanting one of these for quite some time. I never knew Ikea carried them, but it is, it is a strainer or a colander that like stretches across the sink. So you don't have to have your freaking little crappy plastic one just tipping all over the place when you're pouring spaghetti in it. I know I'm not the only one that's lost like a whole serving of spaghetti down the drain because your bowl falls, falls over. I don't even know what this is called. They don't have a name on it, but it is in the Ikea section. So yeah, uh, I just, it's really big. Like we're gonna do a little size reference. Like here's my head. It's really big and it will fit a lot of spaghetti. So I'm very excited about this. And then, I don't have anywhere to put that. And so then I got these big things. So, oh. <coughs> bless me. <clears throat> so if you guys are like me and like the rest of the people in the world after New Year's, you are watching on Netflix, um, Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. 
And if you're not, um, let me just kind of explain it. Marie Kondo is a Japanese woman who is a best-selling author and she is all about tidying and keeping things organized and simple and um, your items sparking joy, making sure everything in your home sparks joy for you. And so since I've been watching that, I am just really on this kick of purging, organizing, and just every little space needs to be organized because it makes life a lot easier. And Ikea is not really known for having farmhouse stuff. I mean, they do, but I mean, it's not, it's kind of touch and go. They're more modern, but they did have these. So these are called the Ginny Ann. Let's see if I can bring it up. The Ginny Ann. And these are um, baskets that are so cute. So they are just like metal on the outside and then they have like a cork board removable bottom. But... And they come in different sizes, like several different sizes. So I got two of these small ones. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay, so I got two of the small ones. And then I got two of these. Let me put this behind me. I can't get it out. <laughs> and then I got two of the large, like, I guess these would be like medium. I don't know if they're large, medium, whatever. But the great thing about these is that they come with these little... <sighs> throw that away they come with these little um I guess inserts maybe and it's so you can actually make little compartments inside the baskets and it comes with the little tools um attached right here so I can bring it up it comes with little tools so you can attach them and you put these inside however you want them to fit and then you just make little compartments isn't that neat? And that they fit, there's several of them. They come, I think each one comes with three. And so that way you can organize things by size and color or, you know, purpose. These are going underneath my bathroom sink in the half bath downstairs because that is the bath that gets used the most, um, especially because my husband works such odd hours. So he doesn't use our bathroom in our room because I'm sleeping at 3.30 in the morning. So he goes downstairs and that's kind of his bathroom, his get ready bathroom. And then let me tell you, my husband, he's pretty good at keeping things, or not keeping things, but he's really good at cleaning when I ask him to, but keeping things clean and keeping things organized is not his forte, and so I really am hoping that these baskets are going to help him keep everything organized, and it'll be easier for him to find stuff, and that's kind of my whole goal, is to make it easier for everyone in the house to find stuff without mom having to be the encyclopedia of all the things in our house, because... I can't handle that mental load. I cannot handle me being the only person who knows where the freaking toenail clippers are. So we're changing some things and thank you Marie Kondo. And then the, I only got one more thing from Ikea. Actually, and it is on my bed. And it is this wonderful cozy knit blanket. Um, if you don't know, Ikea has amazing knit blankets. It's where my red one, my Christmas one, if you guys look on my Instagram, you'll see my Christmas one. And that's also from Ikea. And this is the exact same one, but it's in gray. And it's just like that um, chunky, really dark gray. I think they call it the Novella gray at Ikea. It's very pretty. I didn't save the little thing that it was wrapped up in, so I don't know what it's called, but they have several of these and it is so big. I mean, it's, most of their blankets are more than just, they're bigger than just regular throw blankets, but they're not like big enough to be spread on your bed. I'm 5'10", okay, and my husband is 6'4", and we can fully cover up with these and snuggle. So, really great blankets, and I really only think this was like $30. It's cheaper than Target. And, okay, so, I was totally wrong. The Ginny Ann is my blankie and those baskets down there okay yeah I was so, so the Ginny Ann is the blanket and the baskets the gray or the black and corkboard ones are actually called Plasia Plasia is that yeah so I was totally mixed up I wondered why it didn't seem right but yeah so there you go Okay, so uh, this is the other thing that I got from Ikea. It's just their shower curtain. I love it because it's gender neutral and it's kind of, it's teal and white. 
And then I got a new little bath mat with a towel and just a little hand towel. I really love Ikea. Okay, that's actually it. That is everything that I got from Ikea. Um, Ikea right now, they have so many good things. I don't know if they ever get a whole bunch of new stuff in. They have a ton of great organizing stuff over in like the bathroom and kitchen area. And then they just have a whole section of baskets and bins, which is where I got those. And those are the Ginny Ann baskets and they are so cute. And I cannot wait to show you guys what I do with them when I reorganize our half bath. And yeah, that's it. So go check out Ikea. All this stuff is there right now. This I just got the stuff last week. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you guys here. And follow me on Instagram at Coffee Crafts and Life. I will put it like right here somewhere. And that's it. Stick around where I post one to two videos a week on family, lifestyle, DIY, and home decor. Thanks a lot, guys.